Ever pondered why certain gemstones like diamonds, rubies, sapphires and emeralds command such high prices? Yes, these four gems, the stars of the jewellery world, have long held an allure that captivates us all. But why is it that these particular stones are seen as the epitome of luxury and elegance? Well, let's start with their qualities. Diamonds, the hardest known natural material on Earth, score a perfect 10 on the Mohs hardness scale, making them incredibly durable. Rubies and sapphires, both varieties of the mineral corundum, score a commendable 9, while emeralds, a form of beryl, score a respectable 7 to 8. Hardness is a significant factor in a gem's value, as it determines its resistance to scratching and general wear and tear. Then there's the undeniable beauty of these gems, the fiery sparkle of a diamond, the deep red of a ruby, the calm blue of a sapphire, and the vibrant green of an emerald are sights to behold. They catch the eye, they draw attention, and they've been symbols of wealth and power for centuries. And speaking of centuries, let's not forget the history of these stones. Diamonds, rubies, sapphires, and emeralds have been treasured for thousands of years. They've adorned kings and queens, been the spoils of war, and served as talents believed to grant protection or power. The stories that surround these gems add a layer of mystique and allure that's hard to replicate. But is it all about hardness, beauty and history? What about other gems with similar qualities or even those created in a lab, flawless and identical to their natural counterparts? Why do these four gems still command such high prices when others do not? These are valid questions, and they highlight an interesting aspect of the gemstone market. Perception and tradition play a powerful role in determining a gem's value. These four gems have long been cherished, but are they truly superior? Let's delve deeper. Have you heard of moissanite or clear quartz? They're gemstones too, and they're just as fascinating. Let's begin with moissanite. It's a gemstone that's almost as hard as a diamond, scoring 9.5 on the Mohs hardness scale, with diamond being a 10. Not only is it durable, but it also has a fire and brilliance that surpasses that of a diamond. Its refractive index, which contributes to its sparkle, is higher than a diamond's. This means that a moissanite gemstone will display more colourful flashes of light, known as fire, than a diamond. But where does moissanite come from? Its story is literally out of this world. Moissanit is born from the stars. It was first discovered in a meteor crater by Dr. Henri Moisson in 1893. This makes it a gemstone with extraterrestrial origins, which is quite a fascinating tale to tell, don't you think? Now let's talk about clear quartz. This gemstone, while not as hard as the diamond or moissanit, coming in at a 7 on the Mohs scale, has its own unique charm. Clear quartz is known for its pure and icy appearance, and it can be cut and polished to mimic the look of more expensive gemstones, such as diamond. Clear quartz has a rich history too. It's been valued by cultures around the world for centuries, used in everything from jewellery to tools and spiritual practices. In fact, some cultures believed clear quartz to be a form of frozen divine light or ice that never melts. In terms of appearance, both moissanite and clear quartz can rival the beauty of diamonds, rubies, sapphires and emeralds. They're durable, they're beautiful and they have intriguing histories. Yet, unlike their precious counterparts, moissanite and clear quartz have not been elevated to the same level of prestige. They're not as widely recognized nor are they as coveted. You might be wondering as we are, why is that? Despite their comparable qualities, these gemstones don't enjoy the same prestige. But why? Did you know that we can create virtually flawless gemstones in laboratories? Yes, it's absolutely true. Using modern technology, we can now produce gemstones that mirror the beauty of their natural counterparts, sometimes with even greater perfection. So, how does this fascinating process work, you might ask? Well, gemstones are essentially a collection of minerals. In a laboratory setting, scientists can recreate the conditions under which these minerals form in nature. For instance, they might use high temperatures and pressures to mimic the conditions deep within the earth where diamonds form. They'll use the right ingredients, the right environment, and voila, a gemstone is born. These lab-created gemstones, often referred to as synthetic gemstones, are not to be confused with artificial or imitation gemstones. Synthetic gemstones have the same physical, chemical, and optical properties as their natural counterparts. 
They're every bit as real as the gemstones mined from the earth. The only difference is their place of origin. Now, you might be wondering if these lab-created gemstones are so perfect, why don't they command the same price as natural gemstones? The answer lies in the perceived value. Natural gemstones are rare. They take millions of years to form under precise conditions. This rarity, coupled with the effort taken to mine and cut them, adds to their value. Lab-created gemstones, on the other hand, can be produced in large quantities whenever needed. This abundance reduces their perceived value. Moreover, the romance and allure associated with natural gemstones, the idea of owning a piece of Earth's history, simply can't be replicated in a lab. Furthermore, the jewellery industry has a significant role in maintaining this price disparity. They've marketed natural gemstones as more desirable for generations, creating a mindset that lab-created gems are somehow lesser. A lab-created gem can mimic the sparkle of a diamond, yet it doesn't hold the same value. Seems odd, doesn't it? But remember, whether a gemstone is lab-created or naturally formed, its beauty remains undeniable. It's all in the eye of the beholder. You'd be surprised to learn that even the precious gemstones you buy might be filled with glass. Yes, you heard it right. The world of gems and jewellery isn't always as crystal clear as it seems. This is where the glass filling phenomenon comes into play. Natural gemstones, despite their beauty, are often marred by imperfections. Inclusions, cracks and holes can detract from their overall appeal. So to enhance their appearance, jewellers commonly fill these imperfections with glass. A process that's been perfected over many years, it's a secret many jewellers keep under wraps. Now this might make you question the authenticity of these gemstones, but here's the catch. This practice doesn't significantly affect their high price. In fact, it's become such a common practice that it's almost expected. The value of these gems doesn't solely rely on their physical characteristics, but rather the history and prestige associated with them. Take rubies, for instance. These gems are renowned for their deep crimson color. Yet many rubies on the market have been treated with glass to enhance this characteristic. Despite this, they still command a high price. This is largely because of the ruby's long-standing history and the prestige tied to owning one. So, even a glass-filled ruby can cost a fortune. It makes one wonder, doesn't it? It certainly provides food for thought, doesn't it? It's a fascinating world, the realm of gemstones filled with mystery, allure, and a touch of glass. History and hype play a significant role in the world of gemstones. From the ancient civilizations to the contemporary world, the allure of certain gemstones like the diamond, ruby, sapphire, and emerald has been a constant. These precious four have been the centerpieces of royal crowns, the symbolic heart of religious artifacts, and the much desired treasure in many an adventurer's quest. Their historical significance is embedded deep within our collective consciousness, adding a layer of mystique and allure that is hard to replicate. Over the years, clever marketing has amplified this allure. The diamond, for instance, was catapulted to fame by the De Beers campaign in the mid-20th century that sold the idea of diamonds as a symbol of eternal love. This successful campaign has since embedded the diamond as an essential part of the modern engagement ritual. The ruby, sapphire and emerald have not been left behind either. Their vibrant colours and rarity have been associated with power, wisdom and love, respectively. These associations, coupled with their historical significance, have made these gemstones the go-to choice for those seeking to make a statement. However, it's important to note that their high prices and prestige are not necessarily reflective of their inherent qualities. As we've discussed, other gemstones like moissanite and clear quartz can be just as beautiful and durable, if not more so. Lab-created gemstones can even mimic these precious four in colour and sheen, sometimes even surpassing them in flawlessness. Yet these alternative gemstones do not command the same high prices or prestige. This disparity is largely due to the stories we've been told and the stories we continue to tell about these gemstones. The price of a gemstone, it seems, is not just about its physical properties or its beauty. It's also about its history, its symbolism and the hype that surrounds it. So as we venture into the world of gemstones, 
let's remember to look beyond the hype and the history. Let's appreciate each gemstone for its unique qualities and beauty, and not just for its price tag or prestige. It seems that the price of a gemstone is more about its story than its inherent qualities. In the end, the value of a gemstone is truly in the eye of the beholder. From the famed four, diamond, ruby, sapphire, emerald, to the unsung heroes like Mosanite and Clear Quartz. We've delved into the world of lab-created gems, the glass-filling phenomenon, and how history and hype can influence value. It's a fascinating realm where perception often outshines reality. If you found this enlightening, please like this video and subscribe for more captivating content. Until next time, keep questioning and keep exploring.